Hey everybody, I'm Brad York. I'm the director of marketing here at Arizona Broadway Theater. And we just opened the last show in our 12th season here, Hands on a Hard Body, which runs through September 24th. And I'm here with two of the lovely uh, characters, actually contestants in this musical about an endurance competition where you gotta keep your hands on the hard body for how many hours? Was it 91? 91 hours. 91 hours in order to win the keys to drive off the lot with the American dream. I've got Johanna Carlisle here who plays Janice Curtis and Eleanor S. Thomas who plays Norma Valverde. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, you guys have been uh, in rehearsal. <laughs> it, it could go south real quick, folks. <laughs> With these two people, With definitely. These two people. Um, guys, f both of these ladies are uh, powerhouse uh, actresses. And we are so excited to have them back, uh, ABT alums, uh, here with this show. I hope you're as excited as we are to be yeah. doing this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, for most folks, uh, this isn't a show title that everybody has known about, but it's a show that has an enormous amount of heart and a great story uh, about real Americans. So yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, a Janice. So Janice Curtis is a wife and mother of six. She lives in Longview, Texas, and she really just needs this truck because she's got six kids, and so she um, wants a truck that she can like haul everybody around in. Um, in the documentary, um, she's featured uh, slightly, but her big thing is that she thinks that the whole thing is rigged. So she's very much a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> On the whole thing. On the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and and I, I think you see a little bit of that as well. What do you show. think a little bit about, uh, as you've uh, now rehearsed, we've opened, uh, what's Janice's arc? What's happening with her during these 91 hours? Well, um, Janice, I mean, she comes in really motivated. She's got this awesome husband who's very supportive of her. And I think that the whole time she's just getting to know everybody and the more she gets to know everybody, the more she thinks that there's, there's stuff going awry. Going awry. Going awry and she's a very honest human being and she just doesn't like seeing that happen. That is amazing. Yeah. Folks, just so you know as well, we are doing uh, some construction on the new Encore room <laughs> happening behind this wall. So as you hear the pounding, that's them taking the walls down right now. So uh, a little bit of a live interview. Eleanor, of course, yes. Norma. Uh, for the most part, I would say Norma's here for one reason only, and that is? Well, it's the truck. That's the truck, <laughs> the star of the show. But she feels that she has been sent by God to get this truck. The truck is meant for her. It's preordained, let's put it that way. Yeah. See, so, like, that's not weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Eleanor, of course, just got done playing the wardrobe oh, in uh, yes. Beauty and the Beast. If you don't recognize her in the outfit and without the wig on, uh, but uh, you've done a number of shows here mm -hmm. at ABT. This is different. Oh, very uh, much so. So tell, tell us a little bit about uh, this character in particular, this show, and why this is different for you. Uh, for me, it's different vocally. Uh, typically, the shows that I've done here at ABT, I've been able to show off my classical training. Yeah. I went to Westminster Choir College for voice and trained in opera. Um, and this is a gospel role. She's a belter, and she she praises Jesus she's with a, all of her soul. Well, and she's quite a giggler as well. Definitely, because the spirit of the Lord is running through her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're excited about uh, these two ladies, and also uh, the other contestants. We are a total of fifteen uh, actors, actors in this cast, show. Yes. Ten contestants are on stage to win this truck. Uh, the storylines happen with wives uh, and uh, boyfriends, family members, off stage left and right, but really this happens uh, on stage amongst these uh, 10 contestants. And we hope you take the opportunity to come and see Hands on a Hard Body again through September 24th. Actually what we're going to do now is show you a little footage of these actual characters from the 1997 documentary. Here's a look. I try to finish everything that I started, at least I try to. If I don't, I get very upset because I didn't finish what I started. My husband and I have been praying for a truck, and I believe that this is what God wants us to do. 